while ago, I made these cool low-poly pixel art Dark Souls characters in the style of Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass for the DS, and I want to see if I can remake them. I'm going to make Solaire, and I'm going to make it very low-poly and in a pixel art tiny model style. I'm going to be using Block Bench, a program that's normally used for making Minecraft style characters, but you can also make cool low-poly models with it too. We're going to have the character in segmented pieces, so the arms, legs, torso and head are all going to be separate meshes. I have this trick when making low poly limbs, like arms and legs and stuff. I just grab a default cube and I'll rotate it 45 degrees to make it look like a diamond. In pixel art and in low poly art, we lie and say squares are circles, so we use things like diamonds, hexagons and octagons and just say that they're circles. There are plenty of videos on making low poly characters, and it's going to be the same process here. We're just going to block out the basic shape and use the mirror tool to make sure everything's symmetrical. When I got to a point I was somewhat happy with, I decided to start texturing. I'm going to start the textures by just blocking in the colours. So blocking the hands, the helmet, the robes, and the chainmail texture, just in flat colour. Something I want to address in my old character models is the text res resolution was way too high for the art style I was going for. So block bench is going to help you drop it right down. Another rule I broke with my old models was keeping all the pixels the same size across the character texture. I do also break that rule with this model, but it's not as noticeable. Blockbench has a pretty good auto UV tool, but it's not perfect and it still requires some filling around. I've cut out most of that just for easiness. Another mistake I made with my old models is not choosing a colour palette. I just went off and chose whichever random colour I wanted, which can sometimes work but isn't always the best. For this model, I used the Pico 8 colour palette with the extended colours. I think it's just a 32 colour version of the Pico 8 palette and I added a few others here and there, but mainly I just stuck to that colour palette.
So here is the final result. It captures all up a 128 by 128 pixel resolution, and the character model is 594 triangles. It's half the resolution of my original mo uh, my original texture sizes, but I think the texture is a lot cleaner. I think that's because I just used the, uh, the one palette rather than using a whole bunch of different colors. You can download the model. I put it up on itch, and I'll put a link in the description.